Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard episode 193, I believe. This episode is jam-packed with rewards. We've got King of the Ring rewards, we've got a fusion, we've got Battleground rewards, and we've got some gameplay as well in Team RTG. Absolutely jam-packed. Let's get in sh into the action straight away. And what are we going to start with? What, okay, this is this is a good plan. We're gonna do one game of RTG. We'll do then we'll do the fusion, a game of RTG, then we'll do King of the Ring, another game of RTG, and then we'll do Battleground. So that, that sounds like a pretty cool episode. So the ma oh sick, we've just finished uh, Big E. Nice. Hope we can get this Kevin Owens. We'll see. Um, yeah, team seems to be doing well. I'm gonna put in a grind now. As well, uh, not that I haven't a little bit already. I'm on what 250 points. Gonna gonna obviously do a little bit more than that. But before I forget, actually, in this set, this is gonna be quite a long episode. So strap yourselves in, guys, for a ride. Uh, we need to edit our team cards. Uh, let's see how they've done though. Jericho is complete. Pretty cool. Uh, Mick Foley is completely... I don't really care about these cards, to be fair, being... Wow, well, Jericho might be useful if we get another one of him. But the main the main one was this May Young. Pretty damn good, I'd have to say. Gotta have to gotta play a little, little, little more games and toughness, but and one power, one charisma. That should be pretty easy to do. So we will officially get rid of all of this. Put the John Cena back in there. Uh, put the Jeff Hardy... Uh, actually, no. Let's go with let's go with a down arrow because a lot of people probably won't have Alistair Black in their team deck. So for comparable tags, that might be a bit useful. And then we'll put in. Should we just leave her? Is that a bit cheeky of me to leave her in there? Am I that lazy to not want to? Yeah, we're gonna leave her in there. Shh. If anyone <laughs> anyone in my team's watching this video, it's not like you know. Even even with that, it's not gonna it's not gonna change much. These games really aren't hard, and if I see that they are by the end of Rusev, I'll uh, get rid of her. So let's get a game of RTG. So let me quickly clarify the fusion. Obviously, it's not a WrestleMania fusion. I've been hyping it up, but it's not that. It's only a SummerSlam fusion, but they're still quite interesting. It's still a reward. Who or who did I get? You know, because um, there are quite a few that I haven't got, so that might be interesting. And obviously, King of the Ring rewards that I w that is not disappointing. It's it's so obviously a good reward, and then Battleground is obviously the the champion's reward. So all of that is going to be good. Let's get this underway. I hate Team RTG so much, but hopefully this is the last one um, until the new tier comes out. Hopefully. But anyway, guys, let's... Well, yeah, while we're playing these games, let's talk about, obviously, something we kind of have to talk about. And that is Battleground, my kind of little short Battleground review... Uh, I, I watched it from beginning to finish, which is kind of rare sometimes in pay-per-views. Normally I would like fall asleep before the main event and watch it the next morning. No, oh, that's actually exactly what I did with the Punjabi Prison match. I fell asleep after Mike Kanellis and Sami Zayn, actually. Just starting to remember that. And I watched it the morning after. No, I didn't, no one spoiled it, because I literally woke up, put it on. Um, but yeah, let, let's get into it, guys. Let's get into it. Uh, I'm, I've got to be honest, I didn't watch the kickoff show. I do normally watch event kickoff shows, but didn't watch it. Uh, apparently, it was kind of probably like the second best match on the on the card. What people say, but I'm gonna get into more and what I think about that. But I didn't watch it. Aiden English versus um, Ty Dillinger for about the third pay per view kickoff in a row. Um, so yeah, uh, nothing much to say about that. Except uh, Aiden English won, so that's pretty surprising, but alright. Let's get into the real pay-per-view, and we'll start off with what was my favourite match of the night. And I know it was most people's favourite match, but I honestly can't remember the last time a tag team match was that good for me. Like, it must be years now since I've seen a match that good. Uh, a tag team match. Maybe not. Maybe there's been others on, on par. You know, there's a couple, actually, there's a couple I can think of that were amazing as well. You know, DIY, Revival, they've had great matches. The triple threat ladder match they had with Office of Pain was really, really good. Um, but one of the best I've seen in a while. And yeah, uh, New Day. Oh, your new tag team champions. I thought, and I kind of hoped that uh, the Usos could kind of hold on to them for a little bit longer. Um, maybe till SummerSlam, you have New Day, New Day Usos in 
a ladder match would be awesome. Um, but yeah, Uso's champs going into that. I thought, you know, maybe make the feud. But, you know, they'll probably have that SummerSlam as well. They'll probably have a rematch there. But yeah, New Day are your champs. I'm not, you know, completely disappointed. It's alright, it's good. Uh, anyway, let's move on to what I thought was the biggest disappointment of the night, and that was Baron Corbin versus Nakamura. The match was very slow paced. Um, well, for, I thought it was at least. I just, yeah, it was. Couldn't get into it, couldn't get into it at all, and then the stupid finish. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, Nakamura won because Baron Corbin got himself disqualified. Awful finish. It can't, doesn't really make any of them look strong. Uh, and obviously, you know, Baron Corbin. Wait, what did I just say Baron Corbin? Yeah, Lee, Baron Corbin lost by disqualification. Did I say that or did I say he won? Anyway, he did, okay, he lost, yeah. But they could have had Nakamura go over clean um, and it wouldn't have been that much of a big deal because well, Baron Corbin's missed the money in the bank. But yeah, it was an awful ending. Didn't really like that match. Um, the Fatal 5-Way Women Elimination match. Uh, I, I'm not going to say much about this except that I think Charlotte should have won. Charlotte... Versus Naomi seems like a much better match than Natalia and Naomi. I don't really care about either Natalia or Naomi, personally. Um, and it's, Natalia's not really that popular anymore. And she's just, is that is that what you want to, I don't know. I think that was a missed opportunity. I think Charlotte and Naomi could have had, could have been a great match, actually. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe it will still happen. I don't know, but very disappointing that Natalia won. I know she's a good wrestler, but... Yeah, I thought it'd just been better for other people. Did I just get into a second game of RTG? I think I, I think I did. So we're gonna after this game, we're gonna jump into a, the fusion and into background rewards. We'll keep the King of the Ring for last because we have the potential of getting a female in that, and obviously that's what we need. Uh, finishing out WrestleMania tiers, just a lot of females. I haven't got. It was what about about three or four days ago? I actually remembered Nikki Bella has a WrestleMania card. A uh, WrestleMania 33. Like I completely forgot about that. I haven't seen. I haven't seen a lot of people pull her, um, and I haven't not pulled her yet. It's just crazy. I can. I, you know, like I've seen loads of Becky Lynch's, loads of Charlotte's, loads of Asuka's as well. All the cards I haven't got. Nia Jax as well. I haven't seen much of actually. I don't know. Females are just very rare. <laughs> All right. We're doing good. We're doing good. Let's go with let's go with John Cena. Anyway, let's yeah, let's finish off quickly battleground so then we can get into the rewards. Um, Sami Zayn, Mike Kanellis. Thought I thought you know um, thought it was okay. I thought it was quite entertaining because I do I, I'm a big fan of, of Mike Kanellis, Mike Bennett. Um, so yeah, I was okay with that. The finish. I would have kind of rather Kanellis to win, but yeah, it is what it is. It was it was solid match. Um, let's quickly move on to AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens, which I thought was a good match. They could have a lot better. It was good. I was happy with it. And then the finish happened. The ref bar, the smish. It was it was just so bad. The roll up pin made AJ Styles look really weak. It was just not good. It was not good. But anyway, yeah, we'll get into the we'll get into the main event in just a little bit. So. There we go, guys. We've got those games done. Did I actually play two then? I did play two. So, Fusion time. SummerSlam Fusion. Let's see who we get. Um, I'm not sure if there are... I'm not sure who I haven't got. It was Bo Dallas. What? I've got every SummerSlam Fusion. I'm pretty sure... I was, oh, was it WrestleMania Fusions? I was missing all of them. Well, a lot of them. Brock. The Rock. Randy Savage. And McMahon, and I was missing Lita, and I just got Lita. Uh, okay, so, okay, well, we got all of those SummerSlam ones. So, Harden's next, so we're getting back into the interesting ones. Alicia Fox is the only one I haven't got on here, so we're hoping for that. But, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get that started uh, off cam. You guys, not gonna not going to bore you with that. Let's get into our rewards, though. Uh, yeah, we, we got another win. Pretty cool. Not really keeping count anymore. So, Platinum Pack. Obviously, guaranteed WrestleMania. Give me uh, a John Cena, a Roman Reigns, um, Sami Zayn, Brian Kendrick, all those others, Miz. Um, not Kevin Owens. Well, maybe a Kevin Owens if we end up not getting him in Team RTG, but we probably will, so no Kevin Owens. Let's see. Battle points. Okay, my Mania card is last. Give me some catalogue here, please. That's not catalogue. 
that's not catalog. Oh, that could have been a Nikki Bella. I would have been happy. Again, I haven't even pulled a, an ultimate Nikki Bella. That's just Nikki Bella cursed. Uh, Alright, our main is really... It's going to be so disappointing, isn't it? Let's close our eyes. Boom. Ah, let me try and predict who this is without even seeing. Um, I'm going to say it's... Anyone. Just say anyone. I'm going to say it's um, Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> Finn Balor. Great. Useless card. That was a joke, by the way. Dolph Ziggler. Doesn't have a WrestleMania card. And it, I just don't even guess anymore what I did there because, well, you, as you guys, a lot of you know, that my most viewed video on this channel is a pack opening. And, and the first eight minutes of that pack opening is me opening a pack, getting an ultimate, not even a WrestleMania from it. Eyes closed. It's a Heath Slater. It took me eight minutes to guess. And I didn't even guess at the end. Um, <laughs> that was pretty awful. But anyway, um, that's done. Finn Balor, obviously that's just, yeah, that's just not good, is it? Well, for me it's not good, because it's not anything important. What what do we do? Do we play another game of team? Nah, let's get into King of the Ring rewards. Let's get straight into it. So I didn't win. Didn't win. I, 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 I'm going to be honest, I didn't even know I got to the final before I woke up this morning. I quickly energised for the third match. Went to sleep. So cool. Pretty happy with that. I don't need to win, it's just an ultimate card, I mean, might have been catalogue, but it probably would have just been, like, Jay Uso. Let's, let's do this, guys. Please give me a female. It'll make up for Battleground, because that was quite bad. Uh, a female would be lovely. Uh, Alexa Bliss, Naomi, Nia Jax, Asuka, Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, Nikki Bella. Any one of those, please. Come on. Oh, okay, I'll take that. Fucking take that. That's a pro. That's actually a pro for once. Oh, no, it's not, is it? Oh, it's not, is it? Oh, my God. I think I've just got... I think I already got the Sami Zayn pro. I think I already got Sami Zayn pro. I, I know it would have been quicker just to go on the thing and... Would have put combinable, but... Where the... <laughs> Sami, look, on, next page. Oh, thank God. Okay, he is a pro. He is. Good. Good. Finally progressing with these these manias. It seems like for so long I haven't got a just regular WrestleMania Pro to get rid of some of them, you know? Um, yeah, obviously this will just trigger a couple people, but Sami Zayn's a pro. It's a silver star. Completely useless for me just to get it done in the catalogue. Um, so that's cool. That's, that's good. Good King of the Ring rewards. Could have been a female. Could have been better. But Sami Zayn, he's now done. Um, and it, yeah, just less, less WrestleManias to pro, less catalog to do, one step at a, one step at a time. That's how we do it. Um, so yeah, guys, what, what fusions? Carmella and Nia. So we've got both female fusions, and then Chris Jericho and Bobby Roode. Hopefully next one could be a pro, or an AJ Styles. Hopefully. So Sammy's done. Look, these are the ultimates we've got left of pro. Not many, is it? Uh, and obviously Nikki Bella and Dana Brooke, who's there. And then Mania-wise, Mania-wise, who do we got? We got those, well, Kevin Owens, Goldberg is already proed. I got Neville, that's who. Neville, Miz, Brian Kendrick. Okay. And then, yeah, Mickey James was cool, of course. All right, guys. So, yeah, we're going to wrap up the episode there. I'm not going to play another game of RTG. I think this episode's been long enough. Um, decent rewards, Finn Balor, all of that will just obviously just go to Fusion. The pro Sami Zayn will go towards my Fusion, all of that. Um, and, yeah, that's pro Sami Zayn as well. So, I already said pro Sami Zayn. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do drop it a like if you have. I will see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Till then, take care and peace out. And maybe a Tatmania video tomorrow, guys. Peace.